you. Hey everybody, Adam Aguilar here, and today 33. Okay. Oh, 30. Oh, so, okay. Um, where we last left off, we were still on Highway 17, and we uh, ran over a guy. Oh, we're we're at this point. All right. All right. All righty. I know exactly what to do and how to deal with this situation. Smooth! Okay. So you open this. Open this. What ho? What a surprise! A loading sequence? Why would you need a loading sequence for something so little and looked like it already was loaded? Well, foolish child. This was not loaded. This is actually an entirely new, different type of level. It's known as the underbelly of the train tracks. Or, you, you can call that the underbelly of the train tracks. If you want, I mean... Man, I sound really pathetic to you guys. Well, I'm not. I am a great man. I am a great husband, and I... Wait, I'm a husband? That was a poor joke. See? I even give myself self-criticism on my jokes. Haha, <laughs> aren't I lovely? Love me! Man, that is a bunch of penis. That is a bunch of penis! Hey, penis! Yeah, you like it when I say penis, don't you? Probably the only zoom where you can actually jump as well. But then again, I don't really memorize first-person shooters. I saw your brother. He killed me. And game over. Oh, wait, you wouldn't know that because I'm in a second life. Actually, that would be a contradiction to this game because I'm not at the half-life of the radioactive point. I am more in a second life of of rebirth and reanimation through through the process of a game over. Science. You know, that was weird. Like, no, not the ladder jump. But, like, I found out about Half-Life, like, what it actually was just this year. Like, how it has something to do with radioactive... Reactive... Radioactivity! That's the word I was looking for. Molecular structure, atom cells, just something with chemistry. I mean, I don't re remember it all the time, but when I heard Half-Life, I thought my teacher was going to bring out the game and just start playing it for us, because cause she used to play, like, Final Fantasy. Actually, she does play Final Fantasy and all that crap. She's been told us, like, a bunch of the stories that she's had. And we were laughing because they are like, ah, ha, 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 a teacher playing video games. And she's actually pretty good at it, I'm sad to say. I like her. She's alright. I'd never make fun of her. She's... Oh, I should tell you a story with that. Okay. So, basically, it's our final project, and um, we're supposed to do something related to chemistry and all that. So I'm like, okay, I'll just make a video game because she likes it. And I just got RPG Maker XP, and I made the entire game. Her and her A game. Just for the fun of it. And, I'll, and I made it, and it was good. I mean, I literally, literally made it. I made it good, but I couldn't, um... I couldn't get a certain code to uh, download into the database of the installer for RPG Maker. And so, I kept trying and trying and trying, like, about five different times. And I'm getting pissed off because I'm like... Man, I really want to turn this in. And so, I... And so, basically, I just continue on, like, make... I continue on trying to find out the codes. I keep asking people, like, Hey, how do you get this? How do you get this? How do you get this? And I can't remember the code name. I'm, I'm sorry, but... But I kept trying and trying and trying... And it was so hard for me, and I'm like, oh gosh, he's gonna kick my ass. And 
so I'm like just getting worried. I'm trying to figure out what to do. And so on the very last day of um of school for me, seniors are gone. It's just me, uh, my friend Steven, and another guy we call Jesse. And we we're playing with uh computer mouse balls because last day and we really had nothing else to do and we found a packet of them so we just start playing with them best day ever by the way um so we just play so like at the end of the day i go over and say like oh miss uh, i shouldn't even say names hang on let me load and then i'll get back to you guys so now I'm worried sick, and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck am I gonna do? My teacher's gonna kill me. Because I don't have anything to, uh, show her. And, like, I still don't have the code. And so I try to put it on a... I try to put it on Steven's computer. Who, uh, who always brings his Mac and... He like brought Left 4 Dead and all that crap, and I was like, "This is a great last day." Except they had a power outage. Or did they? No, that was a nerd day. Oh, that's a funny day too. Um, no, basically, if I can get this up. Ah, I can't drive and think at the same time. It's impossible. But, like, I went on there. I couldn't get it either. I was like, oh, this, this person, I can't, like, do it. And she said, well, you completed it, right? Yeah, what does it look like? And I described it to her. And so, basically, I described to her, I described what I did, I described how it related to chemistry. And then she said, okay, well, give it to me over the summer. And I'm like dead. And I said, well, okay. I'll, I'll try. I'll try it again. And so I'm just like, ugh. Man, I, I feel really bad. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, she's gonna like give me a complete D or F or something. And now I'm gonna have to tell my folks like, what the hell is going on? The report card comes, and she gave me a C plus in the class. She actually counted my final project that I never even turned in as a eligible grade. And I was so fucking happy. And I love her so very, very much. Cause there. Cause that's what you get when get on a teacher's good side you you get benefits and I still have the game I still have the game loaded onto my computer and I plan on giving it to her when school starts so I gotta find how to fix that code <laughs> I really don't know how to start code I mean it's just, oh. all right well what's up ahead Alright. Uh, if you guys know, I think it's called VGM? No. That doesn't sound right. I really can't remember what it's called, but anyways, this is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching Let's Play Half-Life 2 with your host, Adam Aguilar, and I hope you enjoyed me talking randomly and thinking and all of the wonders of my mind. Alright, so see you guys next time, hopefully, and subscribe. Bye-bye.